Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to be doing some seeding here really quick, but we got to get this combine going and we have to get over into okay, this tractor here. We got to get this combine taken care of and we got to get the tillage tractor going. Oh, by the way, we got another new tractor. I did that harvest that you've seen in the previous video and I did some seeding and I uh, had a wonderful harvest and I made a lot of money off of it as you can see soybeans was through the roof and corn went through the roof everything kind of went through the roof and I got a bunch of loads of everything out so I'm gonna have to be planting a lot to rebuild my store of um, extra crop on hand in case wonderful prices come along of course but anyway we're gonna get this combine loaded into here then we gotta get the new Holland going and we also have to get the dudes far going because I just opened the game back up after a lot of troubleshooting trying to get the recording software and the auto re audio recording software going again because after recording the last one I've had quite a bit of trouble but hopefully we get this sorted out here if I can control my tractor trying to make sure that everything's functioning properly still. Uh, hopefully it is because this will be like the third time I've tried to make this particular video. So hopefully here the combine looks like it is ready to go back onto its little rampage there. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the New Holland here. We'll get this guy going. We're going to hire a worker for this one. Then we're going to bail out and we're going to run across the field here. And we're going to jump in the dutes far. Which just, it made more sense to use the dutes far for planting and get a higher horsepower tractor for hauling grain that also had speed. So that's why I went with the, um, the Fent for hauling grain because it's 390 horse versus 336 I do believe. Let's see here. We'll get this going. I did just hire a worker in case you're wondering. Um, okay, so the Dutes Far is 336 horsepower. I think I'm going to sell the little Fent. But the big Fent here, the 900 Vario, is 390 horsepower and they both top out at the same speed. So, the Fent, it makes more sense to use for pulling the big grain carts, because eventually I do want to get a bigger grain cart. I don't know how that's going to quite go, but... do want to get a bigger grain cart eventually. And uh, the Massey Ferguson here will be the new loader tractor after the Fent 700 is gone. The Dutes Far will pull both planters with ease. So, that's the purpose in that. Eventually here... Um, I also expanded fields, so 3, 4, and 5 are now one field. 2 and 6 have always been the same field since we've started this, and 8 and 7 are the same field, of course. Um, eventually, I would like to either do field 29 or 15 and 13 combined, and then square off the edge here on 13. So that would, of course, I think at that point, I would definitely be looking at getting like a T9 New Holland or introducing the Big Bud Pack into this map. Uh, the, big bug, the Big Bud is a rather slow tractor, but it can get a lot of work done. The only downside to the Big Bud is it doesn't have the three-point on the back, and I think, take a look here, oh, not this one, but the other cedar that we have, which we can bail out here, and we'll go take a look at quick, I believe uses a three-point hookup and not the standard Nope, that one does use the standard pintle hitch style. So it must be... I think we might be fine, actually. I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyway, we're going to jump back in the dutes far here. We can catch up to it. It's a hard-working tractor. I definitely do like the looks of it. It is working hard. I put wider tires on it for seating to reduce compaction after the cultivator goes through. So that's why I did that. Um, I didn't get a bigger weight on it. I thought about putting duels all the way around on it, but instead, nah, 
I'll just do this here because it's the American way to do it. I suppose Americans put could put duels all the way around. I have seen it, but it's not common around where I live in agriculture. So, the dude's far here. We'll get a cab view. My windows are dirty. It needs a bath. I definitely like the cab. It looks like there's a lot going on in this cab, but I think it'd be pretty easy and straightforward to get used to. Uh, the Horsch DLC here for both my Cedars and my Cultivator are wonderful. I definitely do enjoy having those. And then, on top of it, jump out here, I also have a grain wagon that is a Horsch item, but I don't think it's in the Horsch DLC. Oh. Looks like the New Holland is getting a little bit ahead of itself here. We're going to have a combine collision if we don't get a get in here and stop this guy. Alrighty, so this is the horse joker for the cultivator. I think I mentioned that before. It is like 12.2 meters wide. It is a pretty good cultivator for what it is. And it's not terribly expensive. So I think it bridges the gap between having the... Uh, bigger cultivators that are included in the big bud pack and having the smaller really expensive cultivators that are available with the standard game release. And I also have the new realism mod which is kind of strange to try and use because the tires on the tractors do a lot more spinning. And the combine is a little light on the rear end, which drives me insane because the combine is hard to turn. I think they will probably update that, or at least I hope they will update that, so it is not a problem. But who knows? Let's check grain prices. I haven't done that in a little bit here. Ooh, soybeans is, like, wonderful, and we have enough for a load. So we're going to jump over to our semi here and we're going to load up with soybeans and while that's loading I'm gonna take and we gotta check on the combine we are going to have to empty the combine and and get it going on the next field over there and I do realize that part of it isn't ready to be harvested I think I'm just gonna hit it with the cultivator attack with it because I did turn off growth while I was doing all this trying to make the videos and fighting with um, action cam and audacity to get them to get along so with any luck here we'll get this load on here we'll get the combine down there get that going and then we're gonna take off with the semi Alrighty folks, we're back here at the semi now, we're going to get over to the harbor. Which is quite 
great actually because at this rate I'm not going to have extra soybeans at hand. It, anyway, I'm going to not have extra soybeans on hand. It's all going to be cash, which is great because that leaves me options to do things like get more fields and bigger equipment. And it will be fairly exciting to be pushing these tractors to their limit like their predecessors that are now gone because they weren't big enough, like the Massey Ferguson utility tractor and both Stara tractors that I had that just ended up being too small for this operation, along with the old planters, cedars, and cultivators, the whole works. So, I'm gonna rush over here to the harbor, dump this off, and boogie back to the farm because I have the cedar to get going again, and I also have to get uh, the combine taken care of because that's gonna fill up quick on that little field. So here we are, we're getting the semi pulled back in, and then, once this is pulled into place, put that tarp back on, right, yep, we'll shut off the light, shut off the engine, and then we're going to jump back to the combine here, which is actually not quite full yet, so, uh, the cultivator is doing well, we'll check on, let's see here, here we go, this is who I was looking for. The Dutzfar, running the cedar. We're actually doing corn this time around. I thought we were doing soybeans, but it's actually corn. So that's actually good to see that we're doing corn, because it'll be a little different for the next episode. We'll be doing corn. And then, let's see here. That'll do its thing. Let's get this guy out of the way. So that we can get the Dutzfar in place. And then, after we get the dudes fire running, we'll take the fent and dump that load of um, soybeans where it belongs so that we can get going on new things. Like picking out which field we're going to buy, buy next. Okay, get this one going here. Run and jump in the fent here. We're going to check on the combine. Oh no, I ran over my freshly seeded fields. That's alright though. Doesn't seem to matter in game so much. So anyway, if you did notice, it was $236,000 we made off that last load of soybeans, which is quite wonderful. That brought us up to $1.5 million. So that gives us enough money to purchase that big field or the two smaller fields I do believe and make them into one big field. So after we take some soybeans off of here we will take a look at that. Just about full and now we're full so we're gonna run with it but first we'll check see here field 29 here or 15 and 13 let's see how much these cost this one here ooh that is a good price 366,000 let's see and 409,000 so that's that's a bit higher 5.06 let's see how big this one is this one is 5.66. 
I think we're going to go this route because if we go and we look at field 29, so that's like 11 hect acres. So if we look at this one, it is, they're about the same. And the other two are cheaper. So we'll go with the other two. And I think they're more convenient because my grain storage is right here. And the fields are here, so it's less running, more efficient. Our money will be worth more to us. Let's see here. We'll jump in the 900. Got to start it back up. And then we got to get this empty so that we have room for what the combine has in it so we can get that into storage. And then I think we'll, we'll be done for this episode once we get to that point. So... Without further ado, or more boredom, I want to thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we will have two new fields. And I think I might do a video of plowing them together and how I'm going to work that.